Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video what we're going to see are the different BIOS parameters that we have on each controller. So let's go to the presentation. So what I'm going to cover roughly is that depending on the controller that we have, we have different settings that we can set for the system. And here is what we call the BIOS parameters. Okay, so once we open the application, we need to go to the configuration, and inside the configuration, we see this long list of options. So basically, what we're going to focus now are these ones BIOS parameters. Okay, and you can see the access on each controller on the M172 and the M71 optimized. You can see in the models object we have BIOS parameters. Then, as you can see on the complete list, we have EPRON status and GNOME IO mapping, but that part is going to cover later. So let me just. So now, depending on the controller that we have, we have different views. Now, if we compare the M172 with the M171, we can see a huge difference. On the name or the symbol for each of the parameters that we are able to configure, we have something clear to figure out what is in there. Compared with the M171, we just see the numbers. These numbers are the ones that we can access through the display. Uh, when we press the left two um, keys, we can have the possibility to access to these uh, configurations. Otherwise, we can use the software to configure it. So you can see here the name that basically stands for CF or CL, depending on each configuration that we have. And then we have the description on the right on the common part. Then each of these controller has their description. OK, and you also have the default value. That default value is the default value for the configuration of the system. This BIOS, BIOS parameters, BIOS parameters. So. On the column new value, we have the possibility to set the new configuration for those default settings that we have for the BIOS. Now, we continue with this. It's the same. This is how you can modify. Let's go to the software. It's going to be much easier. So, on the M171, Okay, as I mentioned before, on the configuration, we have modus object, and then we have BIOS parameters. These BIOS parameters, you can see you have some description on the name, but if you just want to see this, you don't know what it, what is in there. So the best is to have like a table, see the table, see the description here to, to really know what is in there. Then, as you can see here, this CL, okay, are for the analog configuration, the analog input configuration, we're going to cover that later, but here, depending on the control, you have different settings for the analog inputs. So in this case, I'm going to say PT1000 PT and this one MTC. You can make the variation, but in this case, for example, analog input 3 and 4, we have more configuration. So it's good to check on here uh, what you can do. Then you have also the configuration for the modbus settings and uh, there is a few more things here okay but everything is about the um for the passwords that you can set and let's go to the m172 on the m172 okay configuration bs parameters then you are then you have a more clear explanation on the symbol so cfg configuration analog input one and here we just modify this value. Okay, something important, I'm going to cover this later, that the configuration of the analog inputs of the M172 needs to be by pair. Okay, so if you can see here, we'll modify this part. Here you have on board the Modbus, you have mo two Modbus ports, um, on two Modbus terminals on the M172. Um, depending on the control, you have also the Ethernet configuration. Okay, so you can change this part. So, for example, 192, 
0.172. Okay, then you have the default MP address. I'm going to change this pop default gateway 1.1 .1 and the subnet mask. And here you can see that it's going to be the same as the one by default. So here you start to see some differences. So let me just magnifier. You can see we have different colors. So having different color is 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 great just to know that the blue means that the value that you have, okay, for um the new value that you want for the BIOS is different from the one that is already selected by default. Okay, you can see here one is equal to one, so it's in black, otherwise it's going to be in blue. So I want to close this part and let's open the presentation once again. This part is already covered, just rough idea. You have the BIOS parameter. Take a look what is in there, are uh, the things that you can modify. Then here is the setting for the Ethernet port. Or it's important, the ports, okay, you have for the FTP by default is disabled by this number. Um, here you also the default port HTTP. If you want, you can disable using this number. Okay, and in this case for the uh, TCP IP port, this one is disabled. So, this is super important because probably if you're trying to access externally to this controller, probably you have some something blocked in there and you're not able to get access. So, checking this is important. Now, let's continue. I already explained this part, so I spoiled it. Um, so here you can see the new values, how it changed the color blue and the color black, what it means having different colors here. Now, uh, do, do, do. this is something very important because sometimes we just made a modification or we don't do any modification and we don't know what happened. So it's important to, as soon as we got the PLC or we got the project that we're going to work with, spend some time changing the BIOS parameter so you can have it by default, okay? Um, one of the things that you can always check is the modus parameter if you're going to make a uh, com communication, the analog inputs that you're going to use in case you're using it, and also the Ethernet settings that is only available for the performance. The M172 optimized doesn't have that option, okay? Uh, doo -doo -doo. So the other thing, Mm -hmm. I didn't mention it. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's open the program, configure the analog inputs. So I have already configured the analog inputs at Ethernet port. I'm going to configure this uh, current and this one as voltage. So take a look on this part. So in the commissioning part, and I'm going to, I have already explained this. We can see all these parameters. As you can see here, we have the red column. That means that we don't know what is on the controller or whatever. We don't have that information. But this is the last thing that we saw. Then we have the default. As you can see, the default here is the one that I already have before any compilation at all. You can see it's the same. NTC, everything is NTC, and if we go to the Ethernet port, it should be the same if I didn't compile it. There we go. Uh, no, Ethernet port. Where are you, Ethernet port? Lost it. Here. As you can see the default is the same as it comes with the project. I haven't done anything. So if we compile this information, so if we compile this, compile all, we should be able to see these new values on the commission part on the um, on the default new value that we have. And those are the values that we the, um, the software is going to send to the controller when it asks you to make a default. So as you can see here, we have, as soon as I compile everything or compile, you should be able to see there is some changes here. Okay, and you can see there is a new configuration for my brush or for the BS parameter. 
take a look here the new ip address that we're going to have so this is good to have it okay so in case you don't know what's going on you just connect to the controller i'm going to show you later how it's done and then you can you can compare if the actual value on the controller is the same that you have by default and then you can change it in case it's possible so see if i forgot something i got the feeling not uh so configure the type there we go mm, configure the model communication and this i didn't show you but it's quite simple so let's check something there we go so we have two different ports you need to check which one is the one that you want you have rs45-2 let me just check so you have the if you're clicking the m172 straight away in the bottom left you have the can rs451 and then the two so this is what you need to check and here you just select the address the, the time you want the data bit the stop bit priority this part is is easy um, we are going to cover that later in the model specific for communication for modbus at this point i believe i cover everything i want to show you that you have the BIOS parameter and you can access to this information. And something and I forgot to add this here in the presentation is that you can access. Okay, so let's explain. You have here Modbus option. So if you have Modbus option, it means that you have a Modbus address. So you should be able to have access to these parameters that you have the address remotely and make some modifications. Okay, that's something important that I didn't mention before. Okay, let's see if you're using current import check behavior in the tag variable so this part is already done so this is how we can work with the bs parameter remember that it's important to once we have already defined our application or how it's going to be our hardware then i advise you to more take a time and modify this on the bios parameter okay and then when you need to download the controller you have everything already in place so thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one